What's up guys, Pedro back from MyColorScreen.com giving you another Android home screen tutorial. Today we're going to be going over a home screen by PLQ or Plick if that is the way you pronounce it. The name of the theme is called Infinity. Here it is on my Nexus 4. It's a very clean, gorgeous, but yet still stunning home screen. But enough of me talking, let's get this gorgeous home screen onto your Android device right now. Alright guys, here it is. This is Infinity by PLQ or Click. On top here I got my clock, down here I got my battery percentage and the status of it, whether it's charging or discharging, along with my temperature of the battery itself. Up here I got the date, along with the weather, the notification counters, and all of these hotspots that go to my music, camera, explorer, settings. This is a very basic setup using SS Launcher, but at the same time it is a very, very gorgeous and yet still clean interface to navigate to. Let's get right into the tutorial. First we're going to go hop into our SS Launcher settings, but before all that we're going to go and make sure we have an extra page of apps. You don't know how to do that, you hit new page, cover page, and hit application drawer. When you're done with that, we're going to go and hop into preferences. We're going to make sure that full screen is checked and that we are hiding our dock bar. We're going to go back, go into theme, hit label. Scroll it down and check hide labels and hit apply changes. You do need SS Launcher, the original paid version into this. But now that we have that all set, we're going to hop into our home screen. Alright guys, once you have everything set in SS Launcher with the settings, we're going to go and put our wallpaper in. But before you do that, make sure you download all the files down below. This theme wasn't personally made for the Nexus 4, but I made custom walls so you guys can make it fit onto your Nexus 4. But besides that, if you don't have a Nexus 4, it should be uh, easy to apply. For me personally, for the Nexus 4, this is only for Nexus 4 users, or if you want to use this, you could. I go to Live Wallpapers. And I go to an app called Simple Image Wallpaper Free. It is like a live wallpaper app that allows me to fill my whole screen with the wallpaper that I need. So there you go. That's the wallpaper that I need. Hit Set Wallpaper. It should be set with the wallpaper right here. Next, we're going to go into our Ultimate Custom Clock Widgets. Alright, now that you have your wallpaper all set up, we're going to go into our Ultimate Custom Clock Widget setup. Before you do that, go into the Ultimate Custom Clock Widget app itself. And make sure that hotspots is turned off so we can actually start editing our widgets. Now it's done, we're going to hold down to our screen, select new widget, scroll all the way down to ultimate custom clock widget, and we're going to select a 4x1. After that, on the top right, we're going to select use it. And if you guys dragged all the files correctly, there should be a little folder that says UCCW. And then two users that say Infinity Apps and Infinity Notifications. We're going to select the infinity apps dot use it. And this already exists, so we're going to override it since I already have it. And that is done. We're going to touch here. It should be right there. And we're going to resize this into the middle. This is the best part about SS Launcher, to be honest. Allowing you to resize almost any widget. We have that all resized in the middle. We're going to hop right out of that. Add another widget. Same ultimate custom clock, a 4x1, hit use it, now we're going to select infinity notifications, I already have that so override it, yes, touch here, then we're going to bring this all the way up to this top red bar and resize it accordingly. And there you have it. One thing I forgot to tell you guys is that these hotspots aren't set accordingly to the way that you guys probably want it to be. So we're going to hit into the Ultimate Custom Clock Widget app, open our save skins, and select Infinity Apps. When we select that, we present it with the regular skin itself. We're going to select Background, hit Hotspots, and we can customize these hotspots 1 through 4. He personally changed it to like Power Amp, and then all the way up to ES File Explorer. You can change that according to the way you want it. But let's continue with that tutorial. Once you're done with that, we're going to hop into our file manager of choice. I personally use Astro. We're going to open Astro, go to my files, 
and the folder that you pasted all the files into, Infinity, we're going to move our Zuber widgets right here into the correct file. So we're going to select all these, hit copy, exit out, and go into our SD card and scroll down to Zuber widget, go to templates, and paste all that there. When you have that all pasted, we're going to start with our Zuber widgets. We're going to hold down our screen, go into new widget, just go all the way down to Zuber Widget Pro, and now we're going to select Zuber Widget 2x2. Tap to start, scroll down to SD card, and we're going to select Infinity Time. When that is done, we're going to hop right out of there. And we're going to position this accordingly. And there you go. It's not going to be perfect on my Nexus device, but that's how it is accordingly to the way I want it to be. Next, we're going to open it again. A new widget. Go down to Super Widget Pro. A 2x2. Tap to start. Go down to SD card. And then we're going to select Infinity Time. How about that? Put this on top. And then resize it accordingly. Alright, now we're going to configure these so that when I tap on these widgets, they open to the correct app. So we're going to select the widget itself. Hit widget on tap action. And you go down to app list. Scroll down to clock. Then exit out of there. And now for this, we select this one. Widget on tap action. Go down to shortcuts. Go to setting shortcut. And select battery. And you're done for that. Alright, now we're going to add our last pair of Zuber widgets. Go to home data screen. Go to new widget. Scroll all the way down to Zuber Widget Pro. Select two by one. Tap to start. Go down to SD card and we're going to select Infinity Battery Info. Go to Widget on Tap Action. And we could also make this another shortcut to a battery. When that is done, we hop out of that. Resize it accordingly on this gray bar on the bottom. And there you go. Now we're going to add our last Zuber widget. So we're going to hold down our screen, select widget, scroll down to Zuber Widget Pro again. But this time it's going to be a 3x1. Go down to SD card and we're going to select Infinity Date. Now we guys see it before, it was like in a different language, but you can actually go into the widget itself, like the app itself, and select Force English. And as though today we can select a widget on tap action to open our calendar. And that is when we hop out of that. And resize it accordingly to the top bar. And there you go. Alright, the last part of this home screen setup is desktop visualizer. We're going to hold them to our home screen, select new widget, and scroll down to desktop visualizer. We're going to select a one by one, leave that there, tap it, and we're going to select an icon, image file, and if you guys paste everything correctly, there should be a little folder that says PNG. Select that, and then select the app drawer icon. When that's done, we're going to select an action, other. We're going to go down to our SS Launcher Pages, and we're going to select our App Pages. We're going to hit OK, clear the label, then hit OK, and there should be it. Now we're going to resize this accordingly onto the bottom red bar. And when that is done, we're going to add another shortcut, but this time it's going to be another desktop visualizer icon. Now, I don't know if the author usually did this, the desktop visualizer way. I just found this to be the easiest. 
want to select out of that. Whoops. <laughs> Tap the icon. Select an icon. Image file. Go back to our gallery. Now you have an array of apps to choose from, like uh, the PNGs, but I'm going to personally select browser. Select an action. Launch an application. And select your browser of choice. I use Chrome. But when that is done, we're going to delete the label again. Hit OK. And for the same thing, we're going to resize this accordingly. And here you go. There should be it. Just like that. Now the last thing we're going to do is going to be setting off our screen off app. Okay, this is the last step we're going to do. Now, when you guys download the turn off screen application, we're going to go into that application itself. There should be a little option that says add icon to desktop. Before that, you should enable it. When we add an icon to desktop, we're going to go right back into our desktop, and there should be a little icon right here. Bring this down near the red bar. And then, we're going to hold it down. Select edit. And we're going to go into icon. Select an icon image. And you should be able to select import. And then go down to the folder that you put everything into. Infinity. And this should be, here are the apps and you know, the PNGs. Now we're going to select the screen off one. Which personally is the screen lock PNG. After that, we're going to apply settings. Then go down to title. Now there should be a little text underneath here that says turn off. Select text. Simply tap that and put one space. To literally just tap the space bar. When that is done, hit OK. Apply the settings. And then, whoops. See, and then apply settings again. And there should be a little screen lock. And then you can resize it. Let me resize it to fit accordingly. And there you guys have it. There's Infinity Home Screen by PLK or Plick, whatever way you want it to sound like it. It's a very beautiful home screen, to be honest. I'm probably going to be rocking this as my daily driver. But this is Pedro from my color screen. Remember, don't stop customizing. Follow our Google Plus page, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, and check out my color screen for more Android home screen tutorials.